It's day eight. We're leaving Ely, Nevada, and now we're heading for Oak Springs Trilobite Collection Area. We've been there before. Again, Kay's the expert at finding these things. I probably won't find any. Maybe a couple, but they're pretty hard to find. If you ever go to Las Vegas, just go northeast of there, and you will be at Oak Springs. It's very easy to find. It's by Pioch. Yes, the famous Pioch mining area. A lot of old mines around there. But yeah. Oak Springs is maintained by the state of Nevada, so it's a nice collection site. And we always find plenty there. So we just had a little rainstorm right before I started this, but now it's sun shining, the birds are chirping, and away we go. Yeah, there's one that didn't make it. Here's the historic mining town of Pioch. It started raining as soon as we got here. Got a few miles to go to get to the trilobite area. Okay, we're in Caliente, Nevada. We're almost to the trilobite area. We're getting there slowly but surely. So trilobites at Oak Springs Summit. Well, what you do is you try to find a piece of shale. It isn't already broken to bits, as you can see, 99% of it is, and split it and see if there's a trilobite in it or a dendrite, and that's kind of like a little plant look, fern or something like that. That's the way that looks. So I found a couple, well, I'll show you here. Can't really make them out much. That black on there, that's a dendrite. There's another one there. See, it looks like a plant. And it might be part of a trilobite on here. Where'd it go? This one's kind of iffy. And I can't even find it. Well, I'll let you know if I do. Wait. Hmm? I don't know if you can see that, but there's part of a trilobite. See a little rings and the head on it. Yeah, this has a few fossils in it. There's one. One over here. Again, I don't know if it's showing up on the camera. Split this one with a hammer, so then you just take the layers off. It probably won't have anything. But yeah, I don't see anything there. I don't see anything there. But that's what you have to do. I'll split this one a little bit. The negative, and there's the positive. There's another negative on the edge of this one. So it fits in just like that. Keep them together. And the shield, the end of the shield. I found the end of a shield that was like it went like this. The trilobite must have been immense okay first time doing this and he's finding all the good ones there's a little trilobite just laying there oh yeah okay okay here's a trilobite here's one side here's the other side they both goes together like that i split it and there they are Okay, so I got this tub overflowing with stuff. I'm sure Kay has way more than this. Anyway, that's what we got. We did all right. Okay, here's the bucket Kay got. So in this area, we're still trying to get to, to Copa. This is where they mine talc. T-A-L-C. Talc. Some of the 
tailings from some of the one of the talc mines we're driving by here to get to our destination. This time my wife just looking at him, I can taste talcum in my mouth. He's so mental. <laughs> Well, the directions of this place are really vague, and the road is terrible. I'm hoping we can get out of here. You may never see this video. If somebody finds the camera, tell our story. So we're just getting out here to see if there's any petrified wood here. If it's here, I'm not going any farther. Kind of interesting from volcanic activity. So we're finding a little petrified wood here, but uh, the main part has like a five mile stretch and I don't think we're on it at all. But uh, anyway, since we're way out nowhere and these roads are pretty dangerous, we're just gonna go right here and get some and be on our way. It's just, if we got stuck out here, you know, it wouldn't be wise. Okay, found a nice piece of petrified wood. And when you, if you're in doubt, if you hit it with another rock, it has a certain ring to it. Very windy, very windy out here, so sorry for the wind noise. This must be some of the talc here. I spotted some coarse light. Yeah, I didn't think I'd any coarse light out here. Here it is. Coors Light beer bottle. <laughs> That's as bad as the lever right. Lever right here, don't take it. Now you know I've heard of all the old jokes and shit. Be coming anyway. Alright, here's leaving the area. Here's the sand dunes that are protected. Looks like the cliff carvings in Egypt. Yeah. <laughs> made it to the Calico Mountains area where we're going to look for petrified wood. This is the worst road yet we went on. If we get out of here, it's going to be a miracle. A real miracle. Okay, Kay found a piece of petrified wood. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know about Kay. She's way over there. I'm finding some interesting rocks. But uh, as far as petrified wood. I don't think it's really happening for me here. Some rocks in there that are kind of interesting. So if we make it out of here, next time we go on these trips, we're definitely going to use a four-wheel drive. Well, that's the end of our rock hounding adventure. Now, if we can get out of this place without getting stuck, that would be a good ending. Especially since I didn't realize I was digging around to find a couple more bottles of water and they were buried under everything. It turns out all you have are these two jugs and a partial bottle. All the other ones are empty. Didn't know that. So we can't get stuck out here. So you found a piece of pet fried palm, you think? I'm pretty sure I did. <laughs> can't be positive. Okay. So. It's in the bucket and I'm not digging for it. Well, we made it out of the treacherous part of the road. So we're coming out. Kay wanted to stop one more time here by the side of the road. She claimed she found a piece of petrified wood. Let's go find out. See this supposed piece of petrified wood? This is pretty turquoisey. Uh, yeah, that has to do with copper, I think. Malachite, what it was called. You can see. And 
right there there's a knot Let's see. It goes back this way see the knot right here okay oh, yeah. a petrified palm root Just finally made it home. We finished our journey and we went 2,280 miles altogether. And I'm tired.